Good morning. I have another quick one for you this morning. Uh, it's about quite a few years ago. I started at TDC, and when you start at TDC, you actually go through a five and a half, six week training academy. And then after academy, you have like a two week OJT. Well, during that two week OJT, what they do is they'll ask you what shift you want to be on. Talking to different people, you know, that already worked at the unit or whatever. You know, they always say, oh, nobody goes the first shift. When they've come off OJT, they either go to second or third shift. The second shift was 2 to 10. Third shift was 10 at night to 6 in the morning. First shift was 6 to 2. Well, of course, I'm, I wasn't a night person trying to stay up all night and work. And, of course, I was young, 19. And then, 2 to 10, I used to shoot basketball. So, uh, I'd go to the park every day and shoot. So, 2 to 10 was out of the question. So, I wanted first shift. So, during that two-week period, of course, the Back then, it was a personnel lieutenant. He came in, gave a, you know, briefed us a little bit. And then after the briefing, he asked, okay, hey, I'm gonna go around and ask people what shift they want. Well, I guess about four or five people in front of me. And then when he got to me, I was like, first shift. But everybody in front of me had either pick second or third shift. So my question to you is, are you asking for what you want? Or are you allowing other people's limitations to dictate your expectations? Or, well, maybe not dictate, but put a cap on your expectations. So years later, years later, I, I've left the, the prison system, and now I'm working for AT&T. So get hired on at AT&T. Uh, the specific area I wanted was Huntsville, Madisonville, but they didn't have no openings at that particular time, so I picked the next closest one, which was Tomball, and that's where I got. So basically, same, same situation get to Tone Ball, meet the guys and the crew. I'm there probably six months and then we have a hurricane come through. So everybody's working crazy hours, crazy hours, but the Galveston area was hit pretty hard and that's part of AT&T area. So when you get hired on, first you're what they call a TFT, temporary full-time. And basically you're a full-time employee, but what it is like, you don't have no designated area per se. So they'll start you here, but they can move you anywhere at any time and you have to go. And if you don't go, well, you don't have a job. So when the storm hit, uh, it was a bunch of TFTs at that particular time. And uh, I had talked to the guys in the crew, and, you know, you get to know them and they were like, oh, you from that area? Like, man, it'll be 10, 15 years before you can get back because of the list that wants to go to that particular area. I was like, okay, you know, what, whatever. But I'm cool, Tone Ball is only like 50 something miles away, make that drive every day. But when the storm came through, uh, the easiest thing to do is for them to move the TFTs. So they asked for volunteers first, which it really ain't a volunteer, you're gonna go if they ask you to go. But they had all these positions they wanted to move down to Galveston and they had one position in Huntsville and Madisonville. And the particular day that they did that, poll, I was off. So my crew, they actually put my name in without me not even being there, not even knowing it. And I guess like three or three, three or four weeks later, man, I get shot to Huntsville. So once again, are you asking for what you want? Or are you allowing other people's limitations to put a cap on your expectations? So what is your expectation? And why aren't you asking for your expectations? It's this thing called fear. I'm scared. So imagine tomorrow you wake up and you're not scared of anything. You're not scared of losing friends. You're not scared of losing family. You're not scared of losing your job. You're not scared to take that chance on starting your own business. Like you just have no fear at all. But the big thing is, the people in your life are you scared to lose, whether it be you know, family members, uh, significant others, whatever. I'll tell you this, only keep quality people around you. And I promise you, if you tell me who you associate with and who your friends are, I guarantee you, I can tell you your future. Because the people you deal with, those are the people you most likely gonna end up being like in the future. So are you asking for what you want or are you allowing other people's limitations to cap your expectations? 
Morning Motivation. More to come.